Number one gives us points P and points Q and asks us what is the measure of the angle that can take point P to point Q. So we could do it here or we could do rotations of it going all the way around the circle and getting all the way back. And we could do that really an unlimited number of times to keep rotating around there. Um, so let's see out of these angles that they give us which ones work out. So 3 pi over 2 is actually right here because remember that this is pi. Um, halfway between 0 and pi would be pi over 2. And so then this is really pi is like 1. So this could also be looked at as 2 pi over 2 because 2 divided by 2 is 1. So then this is another pi over 2 over. So 2 pi over 2, this one would be 3 pi over 2. And then this one you could think of as 4 pi over 2. And 4 divided by 2 is just 2 pi. So you could think of that as um, 2 pi that you probably have written on your unit circle. But just changing them with fractions. So it's not 3 pi over 2. That's down here. It is pi over 2. Okay, so if we just go from 0 to here, that's um, a pi over 2 rotation. Pi over 4 would not be it. That would be halfway between here. So pi over 4 is right here. So this is not it. 5 pi over 2. So if I kind of just count in pi over 2s, um, this right here would be 1 pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 4 pi over 2 would be one full rotation or 2 pi, and then 5 pi over 2. So this one is the same as 5 pi over 2 as well. You can also think of doing um, pi over 2 plus a rotation, so plus a 2 pi. And then you're really adding fractions. So you're really doing 1 half plus 2. And so if we want to get 2 into a denominator of a 2, we would multiply the top and the bottom by 2. So 2 would be 4 over 2 is the same. Okay, 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then you can add the tops. 1 plus 4 is 5 pi, and then you have the denominator of the 2. So that's another way to figure that out, that that would be the same. And then um, 5 pi over 4. So here's 1 pi over 4. So this would be 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4. So 5 pi over 4 would be right here. So that is definitely not on Q. So E, not correct. Number two, a 2 pi over 3 radian takes n to p, label p. Okay, so now you're looking for 2 pi over 3. And remember, 2 pi is this whole thing. Um, and here's pi. So 2 pi over 3 is 2 thirds of pi. So if you think of splitting this pi into three kind of equal chunks, okay, this would be 1 pi over 3. 2 pi over 3 is right here. So here's 2 pi over 3 that we're going to label as P. Next one wants 7 pi over 6. Okay, so 7 pi over 6. Again, if we think of taking pi and splitting it into six equal parts, okay, so here's one part, two, three, four, five, six. So then 7 would be right here. So 7 pi over 6 is just past pi. And you can think of pi as 7 over 7, or sorry, 6 over 6, 6 pi over 6, and then another pi over 6. So 7 pi over 6 would be right there. And so that's Q. Um, then the last one, 25 pi over 6. So now we're thinking we need to go 25 of these little angles like this, right? So here's 6 to get to pi, 12, 18 to get back, 24, and one more. So 25 pi over 6 would be right here. So if we went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, it would send us right back there. Um, and you can also kind of take out full rotations of pi, um, pi over 6. So remember, all the way around is 2 pi. So if we subtract out 12 pi over 6, 
okay? Because that's really two pi. If we do 12 divided by six and that's one rotation, that would get us down to 13 pi over six. So that's still bigger than 12. So we can subtract out another rotation. So that gets us a coterminal angle of pi over six. So 25 pi over six, really 13 pi over six and pi over six are coterminal. So it would land in the same spot as pi over six. Number three, here's a wheel with radius of one foot. List three different clockwise angles the wheel can rotate so that P lands on Q, okay? So we wanna name from here all the way around to here. And so remember, this is pi. So this is pi divided by two. So this is one pi over two, two pi over two. So this is three pi over two. So that's one angle. So if we just went directly to it, Okay, so we just followed this green arc. That's three pi over two. Okay, we could then um, go all the way around another full rotation. So we could go like this, we could go past it, and then we could come all the way back around and land on it. So that would be one, two pi over two, three pi over two, four, five, six, seven pi over two for that orange angle. Okay, so seven pi over two would be another one. And then we could do that again, but keep going. So now we could go to three pi over two, go all the way around to seven pi over two, and then come back again. So do two full rotations and then land on it. So then we're at seven. This would be eight pi over two, nine pi over two, 10 pi over two, 11 pi over two. And again, you're thinking of one revolution equals two pi. Or in this case, since we're looking at pi over twos, okay, so we want the denominator to be a two, then we're looking at it as four pi over twos. So three pi over two plus four pi over two is seven pi over two. Seven pi over two plus four pi over two is 11 pi over two. So you just keep adding a rotation. So 15 pi over two, 19 pi over two, 23 pi over two, those would all be angles as well. So then for how many feet does the wheel roll for each of these angles? Well, when the um, radius is one, it rolls the same amount as the radian measure. So for this first one, it's going to roll three pi over two feet. For the second one, it's going to roll seven pi over two feet. And for the third one, it's going to roll 11 pi over two feet. So it's just equal to that radian measure as long as this is one foot. Or one inch, it would be inches. Yards, it would be yards, and so on. Number four, the point P on the unit circle is in position of zero radians. What counterclockwise rotations will take P back to itself? Okay, so they're saying P is right here at zero. Okay, so the theta equals zero for where this P is. What rotations take P back to itself? And so that's going to be any multiples of 2 pi, right? So it's going to go all the way around. So it'd be 0 would work, 2 pi would work. Another rotation around would be 4 pi, 6 pi, okay? So any multiples of 2 pi. And you could, like, write out kind of an equation for this. You could say it's 2 pi n and say that n is um, an integer, so a positive or negative whole number. So 2 pi n means multiples of pi as well. And then which counterclockwise rotations would work? So if we again look at p being still here at 0, what rotations would bring it um, to the opposite point on the unit circle. So what ones would bring it here? And so that's pi. So our first rotation would be pi. And then we could do full rotations from that. So two pi away again would be three pi to bring us all the way back to that same point. And then another two pi would bring us to five pi. So this is going to be um, odd multiples of pi if you wanted to say that. where this would be even multiples. But so I said multiples of two pi, but you could say even multiples of just pi. So it's 
So if you wanted to use the word even, you'd say even multiples of pi, where this is odd multiples of pi. And this one, um, you could write an equation for it, but you don't know, you don't need to. I think odd multiples of pi would be fine, but you could say like pi plus two pi n, meaning we're starting at one pi and then we're adding rotations. So this n could be any integer again. So you could add one rotation, which would be three pi, two rotations, which would be five pi, um, three rotations, which would be seven pi and so on. But I think this is fine. Number five, here's the unit circle with point P at one zero. Find the coordinates of P after the circle rotates and give this given amount. All right, so we're going one third of a full rotation. And remember that a full rotation is um, two pi. So I looked at this one as saying, I want one third of the full rotation. So I want one third of two pi, which is going to be at two pi over three. So 2 pi over 3 is here. Then part B wanted um, half of a full rotation. Okay, so now we want half of 2 pi. And half of 2 pi is pi. So that one's going to be here. So this is B. This one was A. And then C wants... Um, two-thirds of a full rotation. So now we want two-thirds of two pi. So then we'll just multiply two-thirds times two. So that's going to be four over three and then pi. So four-thirds pi. So here's one-third pi, two-thirds, three-thirds, four-thirds pi will be right here. So that's two-thirds of a rotation around Number six, here's the graph of sine of theta. Plot points where the, gra um, where the graph equals negative one-half. So sine of theta equals negative one-half. So we'll see negative one-half is right here. So we'll go over. So it's going to be here, and it's going to be here. And so what angles is that? So that's going to be at the pi over six reference angle. So that's going to be seven pi over six. So one after this pi over this pi. So pi is six pi over six. So this is one pi over six past it. And then one pi over six before two pi. And two pi is 12 pi over six. So then 11 pi over six is the other one.